cow. Dungeon's crab is some of the sweetest crab anywhere on the planet. We're here in Astoria, Oregon, one of the capitals of Dungeness Crab on the west coast of the United States. You want to learn how to cook your own crab at home during a global pandemic? <laughs> Follow along. Hi, Chef Chris Olin with Chef Out of Water. Part of our mission has always been to bring the world a little bit closer through food. We've traveled all over the world. Hey, Chef Chris Olin, Chef Out of Water. Hey, we made it all the way down to Mexico. We're in Oaxaca. Yeah, Chef Chris Olin, Chef Out of Water. We're in uh, Weizhou, China, Chef Out of Water. We're in Malacca, Malaysia. Chef Chris Olin, Chef Out of Water. We're in Sydney, Australia. I sure miss traveling though. I mean, last year we went to a lot of different destinations and to be able to travel to those places and learn new techniques and ideas from other chefs and purveyors and farmers and fishermen is invaluable. We bring these new knowledge back home to share with our fellow cooks, our chefs, and of course you, the guests in our restaurants. We're gonna bring traveling back. We're gonna head down to Pier 39, the Hanthorn Crab Company pick up a couple of live crab and we're going to show you how to cook them. So first, we are in a new normal of social distancing. So first of all, let's give them a call and uh, set this up. I went ahead and messaged them through the, uh, the Facebook. They said, yes, please call ahead. So let's give them a shout. And I'll put the number down on the screen so you can do the same. Hey, Tom, uh, Chris here, uh, Baked Alaska. Hey, I want to, I want to come down and get a couple of live uh, crab from you. Um, yeah, yeah. What, uh, what's the average weight on those guys? Perfect. Uh, yeah, and what's the price? Seven ninety nine a pound. Great. I'll take uh, I'll take two of them. Here we go. It's all about the journey. So we've taken a solid five minute journey all the way to the other end of town. All right, we're going in. It's that easy. There's hardly anyone out here, so nothing to worry about. Go buy some crab. Have some crab with your family over the weekend. Good to see ya. Get a couple of, uh, yeah, just two, two live crab. Yeah, I'm gonna cook them, and uh, I wanna show people how to cook live crab. I'm gonna leave some for the customers, we're gonna come buy them all. Put her in there. So, my name is Tom Hillman with Hanthorn Crab Company. So, our, our crab come live from the Patricia Ann, which is a local boat here. So, we use local commercial fishermen, a sustainable local resource, and there's live crab inside my tank. And I pull them out, and so we support small business, not just myself, the Hanthorn Crab Company, but also the Patricia Ann and other local commercial fishermen. So I want to encourage local customers within Clatsop County to give me a call ahead of time. Uh, give me a good hour heads up and I'll get some live crab or cooked crab for you. I have smoked salmon, some pickled fish. Because what I want to do is I want to ensure that the, the people in my community know that I'm standing bes beside them. And I want to help them you know, survive whatever it is we're going to go through here. Let's get back to the kitchen. This is going to be cooking crab during a global pandemic. Hey, hey. six feet apart, Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Be safe out there. This episode of uh, Cooking Home During a Global Pandemic is brought to you by Hanthorn Crab Company and Chef Daddy Brands Seasoning Salts, enhancing life's flavor. Hi, I'm Chris Holland, founder of Chef Daddy Brands Seasoning Salts. Our research proves that Chef Daddy will improve your quality of life. It'll make your dinner taste like it was cooked by James Beard himself. Chef Daddy will bring romance back to the kitchen. It'll make you a better juggler. Cooking with Chef Daddy will make you a better homeschool teacher. Chef Daddy can make you an Iron Chef winner. You can use it to play cornhole. 
Chef Daddy's like a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. Chef Daddy, enhancing life's flavor. All right, we're back in the kitchen over here, and uh, let's get after cooking some crab. All right, first things first, get a big pot of water on the stove. Flick it on high when you bring it up to a boil. All right, into the pot of water. I'm gonna put in like three uh, lemons, okay? Just gonna give them a big squeeze. I got some thyme, Let's chuck that in there. I'm gonna put in a nice helping of peppercorns. All righty, I have some garlic. Put a bunch of chunks of garlic in that water. All right, bay leaves. I don't know, half a dozen bay leaves. Chuck them in there. I have some dill. It's kind of needs used up anyway, so let's just throw the dill in there. All righty, and then we need to have the water pretty salted. All right, so I'm gonna dump an entire bag of Chef Daddy in the water. If you don't want to buy your crab live, Tom is more than happy to cook it for you. Again, just call ahead, he'll have it ready when you get there. But hey, we got time, so why not learn something new? The water has come to a boil. All right, here's the deal, handling crab. All right, you want to hold it by the back. Let's turn them upside down by the back, all right? Okay, you don't want that claw to get a hold of you. All right, it won't let go real easy. It's upside down, a little bit dormant. You know how these guys are, you know how you can tell they're fresh? Look how active they are. I mean, these guys, all right? Okay, into the boiling water. Now, the humane thing to do is go head first. All right, we're going in head first, right into the boiling water. For an average two pound crab, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna set a timer for 18 minutes once the water comes back to a boil. Kick the water down to a simmer for that amount of time. We're gonna go 18 minutes. Hey Siri, please set a timer for 18 minutes. Let's let it cook. In the meantime, get some ice water ready. When it's finished, you wanna pull it off, you wanna get it cooling immediately, right? So get it in some ice water right when it comes off the stove or run it under cold water if you don't happen to have ice. 18 minutes and our crab is ready to take off the stove. All right, so let's grab in there. Oh yeah. And just dunk them right in on cold water. So it's important to shock it. You wanna stop it from cooking. All right, let that cool down for a few minutes and then we'll be ready to eat some crab. You know what I like to do is uh, let's just start with this big boy, this leg right here. Just pluck them off. You know, I find it, I always use the back of a the back of a butter knife. It work, works pretty well. Give a little crack, crack it open. And there we go. 